Hi folks, welcome to another edition of Chalkin' with Baby Cakes. I am gonna pull this up on my phone, hopefully, um, so I can uh, hopefully see your comments. Um, since I'm doing this a slightly different way, if you hear the noise in the background, that's the heater because <coughs> I have a little frog in my throat there. There we go, that's a little bit better. Because, um, Hi, oops, folks. there we go. Hopefully the comments will uh, pop up on my phone. All right, so if you hear the noise in the background, that's my heater. Um, and because, you know, I'm down here in this alternate space, I'm trying to figure out the best way to go live. So if you guys like like it like this where you really can't see my face which actually kind of bothers me because then I can't feel like I'm looking and I'm actually got I got my hands going guys like I'm talking to somebody um, you know but I can't see anything so there's that but that's okay so as you're hopping on say hi let me know where you're watching from um, I would love 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 to see that and we are gonna do some inking today so I've got this really um, I've got this 18 by 18, it's an 18 by 18, um, pillowcase cover. And actually I need to hop off screen here. Not that you guys can really tell, but I need to hop off screen and get an ink mat because I do not want, I do not want this to go through because I am going to make this double sided. So there's all of that. Um, let me try something real quick here. Um, just give me, I'm trying something, seeing if it works. There's always something guys. Always something I got going on, right? All right. So I'm not, okay, good. All right, so I have this little uh, ink mat, which I'll have to move around because it isn't the whole 18 by 18. So I will have to move it around just a smidge um, to make sure that I do not, because I have a couple of these pieces over here um, that will be off off the edge and like I said I don't want to I don't want any of the ink bleeding through and that's why I have this little thing here all right now the other thing if you don't have an ink mat like this you can put anything in there like a piece of cardboard you can use um, the the little uh, thing that the the little package that the stencils come in you can use just about whatever you want to do that with all right I've got several colors this is actually gonna bother me I don't like this one just because it kind of leans out it and it makes it to where it's hard for me to get situated so I'm just gonna put this guy in and move it around and that'll be fine too so whenever you're using your inking you definitely want to put something in between your layers of fabric just to make sure you do not bleed through to the other side because your ink can bleed for sure so we're going to do this cute little uh, boho skull and I've got I've got all kinds of colors here guys I've got like these blues I've got pinks and reds and grays and yellows and these colors. So I'm just kind of showing you the colors I have here. So I've got all these different colors and I'm going to be straight up honest with you guys. I am not like this is, this is a new type of design for me because I'm not, I've never done well with trying to figure out how to make the boho look right. It's just, it's not completely my style, so I don't under, I, I just wanna make sure it looks good, right? 
So I think what we're gonna do, because this is one of my favorite colors, this, this color of blue. And the cool thing is, is when you're working with the inks, are the inks are, so they're a lot more forgiving, yet they are not a lot more forgiving. And I will explain that to you. The inks are more forgiving in the sense that you do not have to work as quickly with the inks. Um, the inks take a little bit longer to dry. So you don't have to, you'll notice I'm not going to do the, the paste and peel method on this one. I am just going to do some inking and then I'm going to leave it sit there and and do all the other colors too. So I'm not gonna do that paste and peel method that I typically do when I'm using different colors on one stencil of chalk paste. Now, the thing where the, where it is not more forgiving is the fact if you do get your ink on a portion of your fabric, um, that you don't want it on, there's no getting it off. You might be able to go, if you've got that same color of ink that your fabric is, you might be able to go and use it, use it a little bit to um, go over the colors and, and color that portion in. I'm trying to think here, guys. All right, so let's do these flowers and because of that I'm going to try not to put put the colors the inks on the actual surface there oh yeah let's see the pink okay we're gonna do these I don't know I think that's yeah we'll do this one all right, so I have these three colors. I've got like a purple color, a yellow color, and like a mauve color. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these tools, and these are my multi-tools. Uh, I think that's what they're called, the multi-tool. Um, and I use these because I'm gonna be trying to get into some, some areas that are a little, are a little. Now I'm not gonna make this perfect. because there's so many fine details in here, it would be almost impossible for me to make it perfect with the different colors. So if there's a little bit of bleed over, I am gonna be completely okay with that. And I think it's gonna look pretty neat with that, with the different bleed overs and bleed throughs. All right, so I did those in the purples. I think we're gonna do, yeah, I think that's how we're gonna do it. I really didn't have any colors picked out beforehand on this one, just kind of decided to go with it. I had most of my inks brought over here already because I knew I was gonna be doing the inking tonight. And I just wanted to show you that yes, you can use the stencils with the ink. Now you can ink on a, multi a multitude of surfaces. You don't have to, the other thing is, is you can use the ink on your, on your uh, surfaces, like your, um, the permanent surfaces like wood and stuff like that. You can use it. You don't have to use the chalk paste. You can use the ink. Um, it's just the chalk paste is easier for me to use on those. Um, you can use your ink on any type of fabric on, um, I use it on the mugs and all that kind of good stuff. All right, so I think we're good on this. I'm gonna pull it up. Hey, Jen, how are you? And if you see there, like I said, I wasn't going to, and I did not, I wasn't going to pull that up um, as I was doing it. I was just gonna let it sit there, and if you can see, the ink did not dry on this portion of it. 
to where when I pulled it up, it came up with it. So that was, that's what I love it. Love about the inks is they're a lot, they're a lot more forgiving. And then what I'm going to do on the bottom of this, so I've got this other, I'm doing not too bad today, Jen. I got this little uh, dream catcher that I'm going to kind of do right off his horn like that. So I'm going to place, I'm going to let it dry for a few minutes. That's the other thing too, is when you're working with ink, it does, because it does take longer to dry, um, you want to be a little bit more careful. Now it's not going to come up like the paste does. Um, hold on. My daughter's calling me. My daughter was just calling me, so I just sent her a message. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. I don't know what she wanted. But anyways, do you ever, you know, I I love it when she calls me. Don't don't get me wrong, but I always worry if it's like, am I, am I missing out on something that I need to actually talk to her about? Or is it? She just calling to chit chat. And I'm hoping it was just calling to chit chat. So I'm gonna keep this same color combo. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this mauve in the middle. No, I think I'm gonna do the purple, the more purplish color in the middle. Cause I'm gonna have, I'm gonna put this on one and then I'm gonna do one feather in the middle and then a feather on either side of it. And I'm going to use that same feather for both sides. And we're going to use this same type of color combination. Now I'm not going to do the, the flip side of this. So this one, this tonight's going to go rather quickly because I'm not going to do the flip side of this, uh, of this pillowcase tonight because I want to make sure that this dries up really good before I do the flip side of it. Now I am going to do this one in the same color. So I think I'm going to do this one in the yellow. So I'm going to do on each side of this this purple one, I am going to do a yellow one, a yellow feather, but I'm going to do the yellow feather on both sides. After this, after I'm all done with this, um, what I'll do is I'll do the second side. I won't heat set it until I do both sides. But like I said, I want this side to dry before I actually start doing the second side of it. So I won't heat set it until I'm done with both sides. Now to heat set it, I do have a heat press, which makes it um, wonderful. <laughs> it makes it so much easier to do. Um, otherwise, if you don't have a heat press, you can iron it for four minutes on each side. And that's another way that you can um, heat set the fabrics. Now, if you have a ceramic mug or something like that that you're going to use the inks on, you can heat set that. Um, if it is safe to go in your oven, you can heat set it on your oven. At um, I'll turn the oven on. I'll put the stuff in. I'll turn the oven on to 350 degrees. I'll let the oven get to the 350 degrees and then I will uh, set the timer for 30 minutes. I'll let it go for 30 minutes and then after 30 minutes I turn the the oven off and I let it sit until it's cooled down. And that is how you heat set it. Should I do this little uh, dream catcher on both sides? Ooh. on both sides of the head there. Yep, 350 degrees in the oven. Let's see, I 
think I'll do, I think I'll do this lighter blue. Is that a yes, Jen? A yes to do the dream catcher on both sides? I don't know how that will look. Like I said, I'm not, I don't do the, I don't do this stuff a whole lot. So the color combinations, I love the color combinations. Don't get me wrong. It's just that I'm not, it's not something that I do on a daily basis. So it's a little bit out of my comfort zone. Both sides, perfect. I, I'll do both sides. And I'll do them both in the same color so I don't have to wash it. That looks pretty cool. I must say, let me see here, make sure I get it kind of in the right spot there. And we are almost done, guys. If you notice, when I do this second one, I wasn't doing the whole squeegee thing to make sure all the air bubbles are out. And that's because I did not want to get any uh, ink where it shouldn't be because that could happen it could run oh that looks cute i do like it and i think that's about all i got for on this one i don't know do you think maybe i should put this uh dream big on the top of it let me i'll put it up there so you can kind of see it what do you think if i put that on top of there is that too much speak now or forever hold your peace right <laughs> what do you think? And if I put the dream big on the top, what should I put on there with it? Or what color should I put on there? Hmm. Yes. What color should I use, Jen? The dream big is going to look kind of cool, isn't it? Let me pull that up there. I just need to figure out. Should I just do, I've got, I've got this current jam color. Would that look okay with it? The purple. Okay, let's do the purple. That would kind of, yeah, that would look good because it would tie it all in together, wouldn't it? And I don't have a whole lot of purple in the actual skull there. So this will kind of tie it all together, won't it? And then we're going to be done, guys. That's just how quick and easy this is. And again, just like all my other stencils, I will wash these just like I do. I have a water bath for everything. Um, and so that's, it all goes that same way. So if you see, this is uh, exactly what it looks like. Um, and that's all I have for you guys. Don't forget to tune in next Thursday, a week from today. I will be having my live sale, my February live sale. Um, and I'd love to have you join me for that. It's at 7 o'clock Central Time. I have about 40 items picked out for you. Um, and then on the 20th, February 20th, I do have my open hours. So I'd love for you to come see me then. I will have some of these items available. Um, also, if you're not in my VIP group, um, go ahead and get into my VIP group because... I will have a $10 and under video drop happening here in the next, not next week, but the week after, I think it is. It's the Tuesday after the live sale and it's only for my VIP group members. So if you're not my VIP group, go get in it now. I promise. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all I got for you tonight. Thanks for tuning in. Um, let me know if you like this setup, how it's, uh, like this and you can't see me. Um, I know it's awful not being able to see me, right? <laughs> but I'm trying some new things, uh, trying to figure out um, this setup in here and how I'm gonna do this going forward. 
um, and just trying to trying to get some stuff figured out. But thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. And uh, I will talk with you guys later. Bye-bye, guys.